So, you want to learn how to play Darwin Project. My name is Henry1k and I'm a Twitch streamer at twitch.tv forward slash Henry underscore 1k. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to play Darwin Project. If you do like this small bit of content, do not forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. Okay, boys and girls, we're in the loading lobby. We are searching for a game. This shouldn't take too long. It's a very quick Darwin project for getting in and out of games. There are only solos at the moment, so we are playing solos. You can pick between Jet Wings, Grapple, and Headhunter. I'm going for Grapple in this game. Also, we've got the turret, the lockdown, and barrier. I find the two abilities most viable are a barrier and lockdown at the moment. Basically, this lobby is just allowing you to warm up. You can shoot people, you can hit people, you can maneuver around, you can hit the mushroom-like things and bounce into the air. When you are trying to fight someone, you don't want to jump into the air too much. You just want to stray from left to right. Um, what I just did there was customized. So you can use a bear trap, pulse mine, smoke bomb, cage trap, or tripwire. I find the cage trap most viable at the moment. So that's what I go for. That's the only customization you've got at the moment within your loadout. All right, let's get into the game. Good luck. Have fun. Okay, to start with, that's Darwinian I just hit. And that's the timber. So they're the main two looting aspects. You've got the Darwinian. And the timber. The timber is what you use to craft some items. And the Darwinium is what you use to craft others. We will go through that shortly. You can see I'm using my grapple with my left shift to help me maneuver around the map as quickly as possible. What I tend to do is get two or three wood and then I craft them straight into arrows by pressing R and then clicking on the arrow icon. So it is just a looting game to start off with. Just looting as quickly as possible. Trying not to go up against any enemies. Maneuvering myself around. These are loot chests. You press F on them and they give you things. That's Darwinium. I think we just heard someone, right? So I'm just trying to scope someone out at the moment. I know that I have heard someone. I know that I haven't crafted many arrows. It's going to be a little bit of a melee fight if it does come to it. Still trying to loot as much as I can. Making the hit there with the arrows. I've got two arrows left. That's two hits out of three. Am I going to make the third hit with the arrow? Going in for the melee attack. Not quite connecting with the enemy. Just missing the enemy there. Taking a shot for 200 by the melee there. I'm giving 150. He's also a grapple. So that's his maneuver he's got. That's the loadout he chose. This is a very slow fight because we haven't got much in the way of inventory at the moment. Taking 200 hits. So he's actually advanced his melee attack. So he's giving 200 and I'm giving 150. I've managed to take him out of the game. So they are going to drop his loot. So he's dropped his wood and his Darwinium. Allowing me now to upgrade my inventory ready for the next fight. So I've crafted a fire there. As you can see, the blue icon is now going up. When you're inside... The arena, you do get cold, so you do need to craft fires. To craft a fire, you just click R and then the fire icon. Five players remaining. I'm just crafting myself free snowballs because they're free. What you do with snowballs is you chuck them at the person and then they make them cold, eventually taking health away from the opponent. Managed to get myself a warm coffee there. So a warm coffee is great. So if I'm in a fight situation and I want to... Um, not freeze because my blue icon is getting low. I can take the blue coffee. Well, the blue coffee, the warm coffee, instead of having to create a fire, which then warms me back up because Thank coffee you warms you back up. So you can see how good the grapple is. It's got quite um, a bit of range on it, to be honest. Still looting. Managed to hit a live deer there, I believe. It was a robotic deer. You can loot these deers. Sometimes they give you a little bit of health. That one gave me a warm coffee and plus one arrow. So they're definitely worth looting in the arena, guys. Again, you can see how much ground you can cover there with the grapple. Still trying to loot as much as I can. A lot of movement all the time. Not allowing my opponent to take any shots on me while I am looting. If anyone sees me before I see them. We're still trying to get as much Darwinium as possible. We haven't used any Darwinium at the moment. We've got 95 from what we've looted. Again, still looting as many trees as possible. So what I'm looking for now is I'm trying to get five on the wood. Five on the wood. 
is it going to allow me to put some armor on me? The armor allows me to take one shot without taking any damage. You can only put one bit of armor on. What I am using now is some Darwinium to put one in the chamber. That's always my first pick. Again, my Darwinium's gone low, so I want to be looting up the Darwinium again. Maneuvering myself around the map with the with the grapple, keeping an eye to see if I see anyone around. I want to spot them before they see me, but still looting as much as possible. So I am going to upgrade my app now. App, my axe now, sorry, that does plus 25 damage. So you want to upgrade these as much as possible. I've now got five wood, so I can get a shield. So I want to get three arrows and then the shield. So now the first shot doesn't do any damage to me. It just takes my shield off. The shield is so viable in this game. You need a shield as soon as possible. After the shield, I'm going to use my wood to craft more arrows. You can take these portals. That took me from north to south. Um, but the southern side of the map, as you can see down the bottom left, the area is closing in 23 seconds. So I don't want to be in there. So how, how this battle rail works with zones is the zones get shut down or they get nuked. And then you have to move, bringing all the enemies closer together, eventually fighting out in the last zone. Very similar to other battle royales, but with a little bit of a zone aspect, which is cool. Again, still looting as much wood as possible and trying to get as much Darwinium as possible. So these shipments that keep arriving around the map, they look like little teeth. Can you see them? If you go there and press F, they allow you to get more Darwinium, allowing you to upgrade your items. Down the bottom half of that, that section there is what you use for Darwinium. Along the top half is mainly used with wood. So I am looting again. What am I going to get from this robotic deer? I got one plus one fire. No, I got plus one smoke bomb. I, I put the fire there. My bad. <laughs> what I do is I chuck my snowballs at the fire. And then they put the fire out, allowing people not to be able to track me through my fire, which is great. The fire bellows off a lot of smoke, so it gives away your position. I've just seen and heard someone. I am going to go in for the shots. He's playing very aggressive against me, pushing him very, very fast. Managed to get the hit there, taking his armor off. Did you see he had an armor? He's now taken my armor off. We're now down to a level playing ground. I'm trying to make shots, but missing a lot of shots with my arrow here. I need to take a little bit more time. But what I can do is pick the arrow back up and use it again if it didn't connect. But he can pick up my arrows as well. Now taking a quarter of my health. We're still down at the same health. Again, just trying to move all the time. A lot of movement. So as you can see, his loadout is different than mine. He's got the jetpack. But I have managed to take him out of the game, allowing me to loot his body. Once I do kill someone from the game, my health do does go up slightly. It doesn't normally fully recharge if I am down below a quarter, I believe. I don't know the full statistics on that. So again, as I was getting cold, I've crafted myself another fire. I've now got my two abilities that I chose earlier. One's my Q and one's my E. You need 150 Dar Darwinium to craft these and to be able to use them. I've gone for my E. So now I've got a little bubble, which is another shield, which I can use when I take, well, when I go into a fight. Again, just trying to loot as much as possible. Plus one smoke bomb, plus one arrow, always great. You can see that I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting colder with the blue bar. That always goes down slowly because the arena is very cold. You need to keep yourself warm. As soon as that blue bar does go down to the bottom, you will start losing health quite rapidly, I must add. So again, I've just managed to craft myself another shield. So you can craft this shield over and over again, but you can only have one at a time. I've got 49 Darwinium. I've just managed to loot another robotic deer. And this time I'm getting one speed drink and one arrow. I want to pick up the speed drink, but my inventory is full. I'm sure there is a quicker way to get rid of stuff in your inventory, but um, I usually just use them. <laughs> and then it clears the space up, right? This is not pro plays. <laughs> but that's allowed me to put my speed drink in. As you can see down the bottom right, I've got a speed drink. I've got snowballs. I've got coffee and I've got a trap. You can use these by pressing one, two, three, or four. Also tells you how many arrows you've got. I've got four in the chamber at the moment. I've got no wood, 49 Darwinium. 
So I've used the warmth there just to heat me up a little bit. I've realized I've got a lot of coffee. There's no point placing a fire that could give my position away. I'm now getting more wood. I'm going to be crafting as many arrows as I can now. To go into the next fight, effectively, I want to have as many arrows as possible, which is a maximum of eight at the moment. Again, looting as much Darwinium as possible. I can hear someone now on my right. This could be another fight. He, I can definitely hear him. Just before I go into the fight, I want to craft as many arrows as possible. So we are into the final zone now, boys and girls. You can see how it's all shut down around us. This is the final zone. Eventually, this zone will start to shrink, bringing us closer and closer together until there is a small spot in the middle of the circle. Darwinian shipment has arrived. So you can see I have seen where he is now. It's a one versus one situation. There's only two of us alive. It's me versus him now. Taking his armor off. I've still got armor. Managed to miss that shot. Managed to hit that shot with 200. He's gone for his shield. So that's the E. He's also put this shield around me, which is the Q, which I haven't got. That Q basically makes you have a little bit of a 1v1. You can't get out of it. I pushed out of zone, but that is forbidden. I would start losing health if I stayed out there. He's pushing me out of zone. It's always a good maneuver. I've pushed myself back into the zone, managed to make the hit, giving him 175 damage. We're clashing. So if we hit at the same time, you do actually clash and no one gets any damage. You just push away from each other. He's used his E again, which is another little bit of armor. But I want to wait until that's gone, until I attack him. I actually threw my snowball at him, but he hit it back at me. I heard him giggle there. I'm glad he's having a good time. I'm now getting very, very cold, as you can see. I am going to start losing health if it carries on like this, but I have just used my coffee. So I did press number three, and in my inventory, I had a warm coffee, so I used it. As you can see, the zone's getting closer and closer, bringing us really close together now. Keep pushing my way out of zone, which is making me colder and colder, but coming in with that slam. What a win, boys and girls. And it goes to Henry 1K, the geezer, the lemon squeezer, the fridge freezer, the crowd pleaser, the Julius Caesar. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, you can see how much XP you get from winning. You get a lot more than what you would do if you come second or third place. I managed to get three kills in that game. And yeah, well, see you in a sec. So you are now certified insane at Darwin Project. My name is Henry 1K. I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash henry underscore 1k for more content just like this please do not forget to like and subscribe i'll see you soon